Welcome to Lincoln Financial Field. Welcome to our fifth annual Eagles Autism Challenge Weekend! Amazing. I'm Eagles Insider Dave Spadaro. Glad to be with you tonight. Looking forward so much to tomorrow. Uh, my reminder will be frequently tonight, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. It's supposed to be 97 degrees tomorrow, so we need you all strong at the start and at the finish. We are doing great things with your help. Tens of millions of dollars raised. And we want all of you to be safe tomorrow, to enjoy yourselves as we help take awareness to action for autism. And we do it together. Is there any better example of a community coming together to change the world? With the Philadelphia Eagles, that's how we feel about you and all of us, the organization, all of our community helping each other to make such a difference, to truly make a difference. We have a great program for you tonight, a few exciting speakers and messages we want to make sure you are ready to go tomorrow morning. So let's get right to it. Let's give a very warm welcome virtually to Dennis Glass, the president and CEO of Lincoln Financial Group, Eagles Autism Challenge founding partner, Dennis. Good evening. Good evening and welcome. On behalf of Lincoln Financial and all of our employees, I am so pleased to join you virtually tonight. Link Financial is headquartered right here in the Philadelphia suburbs, and we have been a proud partner of the Eagles for nearly 20 years. And for five of those years, since the very beginning of this event, we have been the presenting sponsor of the Eagles Autism Challenge. We support many great causes through Lincoln's foundation, and we sponsor the challenge because it's important to Eagles fans, it's important to our communities, and it's important to our employees who volunteer and participate along with friends and family members by the hundreds every year. Soon, I'll retire as Lincoln CEO and move into a new role as chairman of our board. One of the many proud accomplishments I will take with me is the impact we have all made together through this event. I know that I'm leaving our Eagles partnership and our sponsorship of this event in great hands with our next CEO, Ellen Cooper, who you will hear from in just a few moments. I have great optimism that this annual event will continue to grow in size and impact, and I can't wait to see how we will continue to work together to support those with autism and their families. Have fun tonight, good luck tomorrow, and thank you. Dennis, thank you so much, and thank you for everything that you've done with the Philadelphia Eagles and the Eagles Autism Challenge. Let's all please welcome now a message from Ellen Cooper, as Dennis said, the CEO-elect of Lincoln Financial Group. Ellen? So, hello, Eagles Nation. And behalf on Lincoln Financial and all of our employees, I am so happy to be here tonight as we celebrate with all of you and are very much a part of the Eagles Autism Challenge. So can you believe that we as a community have been at this for five years? And what a difference we've made for our community especially those in the community who live with autism or love someone who does. So mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, friends and loved ones, all coming together to raise awareness and critical funding to help further neurodiversity research and support. As you heard from Dennis, Lincoln has been a proud partner of the Philadelphia Eagles now for almost 20 years, and we have teamed up to do a lot of great work in our communities. 
The Autism Challenge, it is truly a special event and something that we are incredibly proud to be a part of. And we're only getting started. With five years under our belt, I am confident that the success of this amazing event will continue to grow this year and beyond. Tomorrow, many of our employees and their families will be participating in Philadelphia and from across the country as part of Team Lincoln. And tonight, I would like to say a big thank you to our Lincoln family for embracing and supporting the Eagles Autism Challenge with their time and their resources. I also want to thank all of you for your participation in this event. Whether you're biking, walking, running, or donating to the cause, you're playing a very, very important role in raising money for research and making a difference in the lives of so many. Now, it is my pleasure to introduce the man who continues to lead the charge on the Eagles Autism Challenge, Jeffrey Laurie. Hold on a second. So I want to give a special introduction here because you all know him as the owner of the Philadelphia Eagles. And if you're from this area, as I am, you are familiar with all of the Eagles' accomplishments since he purchased this franchise more than 25 years ago. And those of us at Lincoln Financial have had the honor of seeing some of his greatest successes with a front row seat. And I don't mean his successes as a football team owner, which we all know he's had, but as a dedicated, passionate philanthropist. Jeffrey has studied and funded autism research and clinical programs for years, inspired by his younger brother who has autism. This personal work inspired him to launch the Eagles Autism Foundation, to which he brings his passion and his commitment to support the autism community and to make a transformational impact in the study of autism. Yes, Jeffrey is the owner of an NFL team, but he's also a friend to this community, a dedicated family man, and an incredible philanthropist. On behalf of Lincoln Financial, we are so proud to work with him on this meaningful event. And with that, please join me in welcoming the chairman and the CEO of the Philadelphia Eagles, Jeffrey Laurie. Wow, that was quite an introduction. Um, thank you, Ellen, Dennis, and the entire Lincoln Financial Group team for supporting us really since day one. It's incredible what you can accomplish with partners that share a mission to support the community. We couldn't do this without you. Eagles Autism Family, happy anniversary. Five years ago, we came together to make transformational impact on the autism community. And guess what? We have. Leading into the fifth annual Eagles Autism Challenge, we contributed $12 million to fund 31 new research projects and 27 community grants. Yeah. The, be the, best, part of our, the best part of our fifth anniversary is the momentum we continue to build. We are on track to raise $16 million since the start of our effort. That's, that means we can continue to make a real difference in people's lives. Every single dollar we raise together goes towards transformative research. Under the supervision of our scientific advisor, Dr. Emmanuel De Chico Bloom, our expert panel rigorously evaluates each and every project. Their expertise ensures that 100% of our funds are directed to groundbreaking autism research and programs. Ryan Hammond, our Eagles Autism Foundation's Executive Director, says that I have our scientific panel evaluate every project as rigorously as we evaluate players for the draft. She's right. We have to. 
we're, we're giving to measurable projects that have the ability to change lives. And we know that process is working. Some of the first projects that were funded by the Eagles Autism Challenge are now standing to produce real results. And our research project funding, once earmarked for Philadelphia-based institutions, now extends across the country. Our community grants help families with self-advocacy, employment, and independence. The whole goal is to enhance the lives of those affected by autism and maximize their opportunities. It's difficult to put into words how proud I am of what we've been able to accomplish together. This year, we tried something new. We capitalized on the excitement of the draft to throw a party with all proceeds benefiting the Eagles Autism Foundation. It was a fantastic party for an amazing cause. As an aside, we were pretty pleased with our draft picks too. So. <laughs> Building on the success we had last year with our vaccination clinics for people with autism and their caregivers, this year we sponsored a vaccination clinic for children 5 to 11, providing families affected by autism a pathway to safety. Here at the Eagles, we welcome all employees of all abilities, providing training and support to ensure they are successful members of our Eagles family. And we advance that work by educating other organizations on how to do the same. Of course, none of this work would be possible without each and every one of you. Thank you, Eagles family, Eagles autism family, participants new and old, our sponsors, and our founding park partner, Lincoln Financial Group. I'm super excited for all of us to run walk and bike tomorrow to continue our mission of making a transformational impact. Thank you to all of you. Thank you so much, Jeffrey, for that inspirational message. And we all know that none of this would be possible without Jeffrey's support and his vision. And it truly is remarkable what he's done here. 25 years of great football, and great service in the Philadelphia community and beyond. 100% of all funding dollars go directly into community and research programs in the Philadelphia area and beyond. Let's take a moment and see firsthand the impact that the Eagles Autism Foundation has been able to have in the first five years. Let's hear from the families who see it firsthand. Hi, I'm Max, the host of Sensory Saturdays and part of the Eagles Autism Foundation community. The Eagles Autism Foundation gives me and others a sense of belonging and togetherness. With the Eagles, it's just a genuine feeling that I always get with the event. So I love the Huddle Up for Autism. I love the Eagles Autism Challenge. It kind of brings the community closer together because we all know we're not, we're not in this alone. The Eagles Autism Foundation gives families the chance of experiencing new things together. Unfortunately, when you start with autism, you, you feel it's sheltered or sort of lonely. And here I just feel like it's where we can go and relax. And we know where we're going. You know, she knows there's the sensory room. The Eagles Autism Foundation focuses on inclusion, advocacy, and empathy. At the Eagles Cheer Clinic, we were actually able to sit in the stands and watch her perform. When I reached out, it was immediately, yes, we have supports for her, we have a BCBA that will help her, we have a sensory room, and she'll do great. Right off the bat, it was just Acceptance. Everyone has a chance to be included. Everyone has a chance to be seen. The Eagles gave me an opportunity to work. My whole life to walk with the Eagles. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is what I wanted to do. They do, just a, they do such a great job with the um, autism and the autism community, taking awareness to action. And I see this for the future for more like kids with autism coming into work. I just, I just can't wait for the future will hold this job. The Eagles Autism Foundation gives me the confidence to connect with other kids and families as we create an awesome community. Eliana has autism and we created a YouTube show called Toy Quest 101. Not too long ago we collaborated with the Eagles 
uh, Autism Foundation, and we got to do a show with Max. Autism is not a disability, and you just got to support it. The Eagles Autism Foundation has adapted to help better serve the autism community. We are a recipient of a community grant, and we specifically use most of those funds for translation services for our children and their families. It was very important for families to be able to communicate and their children communicate in their native language. Although interpreting for the children is something, interpreting for parents also allows them not only to be more involved at the time of the assignment, but also later when they want to do some practices, exercises with their children. Those mass vaccination clinics were just not going to work for a person with autism. He needed this quiet space. The woman who worked with him was so patient. Just having understanding people, having a space where he was comfortable um, and he wasn't scared. The Eagles Autism Foundation gives us a sense of hope for the future. She has what's called Group 15 syndrome. The grant. Um, is looking into the genetic makeup of that part of the chromosome. So the fact that that researcher is looking into that really gives me hope that in her lifetime there'll be a therapeutic that can help her. Wonderful. A few notes before we all get back to the party. I want to uh, say a happy birthday to Ben. Happy birthday to Ben and to Ben's mom. I want to thank all of you for your support. Some housekeeping notes, please pay attention. If you have not picked up your packet, you can do so until 8.30 p.m. tonight or beginning at 5.45 in the morning tomorrow. Remember to download the Eagles app for an EAC takeover, including virtual schedules, timelines, and more. Check out the EAC auction with one-of-a-kind items on our website right now. Guest passes will be available for purchase at the ticket bunker outside of Pepsi Plaza until 8.30 tonight and starting again at 5.45 in the morning tomorrow. There is still time to fundraise and exceed your minimum until May 31st. Thank you all for your support, and because of you, we're able to make a transformational impact in the autism community. If you have not already received your packet, and we'll be doing that tomorrow, please have your check-in QR code pass ready. That was sent via email. Everyone, thank you so much for coming out tonight. Thank you so much for your support. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. It's gonna be a hot one tomorrow. We are so excited to see you. Let's have a great night tonight, and let's all do it together on Saturday. Go Birds!